Candace. Okay, we're going to continue on our quick, easy mass make pockets, tucks using one sheet of paper. So this is what we got from this piece of paper. So basically this is our scrap. <laughs> so this one right here is what I, I um, cut on here, but I went and put a little um, matting on the back just to make it a little wider. Um, this leftover, we did a little belly band tuck spot with our little flip out pocket. This, we have a tuck spot, oh, where's my paper, which will go on your paper like this. And then this is designed to go up top. So depending on your paper, you might have to trim a hair um, because, you know, it shrinks sometimes. But if you don't do coffee dye paper and just have regular paper, then uh, like um, from a paper pad, then you would have the whole 8.5 by 11. So it would fit on there like that. But you just, you might have to trim just a little to make it fit if you're doing it on your um, coffee dye paper. And then this here is a belly band. And then I went and cut a mat a half inch wider. And then I put some um, farmhouse washi on there. And this is going to be a double long belly band. And I think that's all the ones I showed. <laughs> yes, that's the what we got out of here. So we got a belly band, a little tuck pocket, a large tuck pocket with a double belly band and then a tag flip flip tag I don't know what you call these a uh, a tag that hello fingers put some writing space up here and put a little pocket so we can put a little tag and it, it's gonna slide over on the belly band so that's what we're doing with this one and let me <clears throat> oh clean up a little bit of my mess from yesterday and put this up in up in here up here I know such horrible language <laughs> oh and let me make sure that you can see this so you can kind of write I mean see <clears throat> what we're getting ready to do all right and then I have my papers picked out and we're gonna start cutting them and hope for the best <laughs> with these papers that I chose because you never know what you're going to get but you know that's half of the half of the game half the fun okay so first we're going to cut four by eight inches so we're going to cut this piece right here so we're going to cut it off of four inches okay so we cut it at four inches and then we're going to cut it at um, five and a quarter so we're going to turn it and cut it five and a quarter. Okay, so that gives us this and it gives us that. And then we're going to cut this in half at two inches. So that's our two inches. And then we're going to cut this one two and a half. Oh wait, yeah, that's number three. Okay, because you're going to cut your one, two, three, and then we got to make sure we go down to our four. <gasps> okay, so we're cutting this at two and a half. So that's that. Now we're going to go down here to number four because this is what we have left here. And we want to cut one and an eighth inch strip. I got glare and I can't there. I can't see. Okay, we've got our one and an eighth inch strip. And then here we're going to cut one and a quarter because this is five and a half, I mean five and a quarter long. And so we're going to cut one and a quarter here. So that's that. And then our leftover should be, yep, three and a quarter by seven and three eighths. So this is how we chopped up this piece of paper and then we're going to um, do our, our our things to it which I didn't bring any 
any stuff. Okay, let me move this out the way. Well, anyway, I guess we're going to, I'll have to, no, anyway, this is going to go, shoot. Oh, forgot, because I didn't draw it. Oh, it's on the back. <laughs> I'm like, I drew maps somewhere. Okay, so this one's going to go on here, which will end up cutting that little piece off. <clears throat> which this told me um, I needed to cut it five and a fourth, which I did not. So I did not pay attention to myself as usual. So let me cut it five and a quarter. That's why I couldn't figure out where it's going. Alright, so there's my belly band for here. That's my scrap. I know. Big scrap. And then we're going to make a pocket out of this one. Um, this is going to be a belly band, you know, this way or that way, depending on what we're going to do. And like, you know, this card could be this way or that way, depending on how we're going to put it on our, um, in our journal. But this is our little belly band that's going to go on, on here, but we need to go ahead on this one. It, I wrote score at three three and a quarter so let me go ahead and score this at three and a quarter so I can do my my little fold over tag when the time comes and then um, this one is going to go down here for a pocket so, and I might trim just a little, just because of what's, oh, but then I show that on there. So, I don't know. We, the only problem with this <clears throat> is you don't get enough scraps. So, but we're just going to do this for now, and then we might just go back through, because we have scraps from all of our other ones we've done, and we might use that for down, you know, down the road. Now, this is definitely going to be, well, I don't want to poke a hole in it, because depending on, even though I'm kind of liking this. I know. Because I'm kind of liking it like that. Because if you punch your hole in here, then you can't flip it over because, you know, now you have... But I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit to this one. So let me poke a little finger hole in there. And that way I know that's what I'm doing on there. Alright. So we're just going to put this, put this aside up. So that means I would use my belly band like that. So we're going to put this in our little bucket, and we're going to cut the other ones. Like I said, we will, oops, we will come back and decorate them on another day. Okay, so, oops, let me make sure we're in here. Yep, okay, so we're going to, Let me just do this. We're going to cut this first, just in case this is a little confusing. This is our first cut. Okay. Alright, so we're going to cut this first, and I'm using this. This is Janie B. Journals, um, her Mystery Christmas 1 and 2. Alright, so we're going to cut it at 4 inches. You know, and I could cut two sheets at one time, but I don't want to risk messing it up and then I'm kind of liking this little scene here if I chopped it off at um, four inches because I think it'd be oh wait a minute five and a fourth let me pay attention now before I do it wrong so I'm gonna just do it wrong so I cut my five and a fourth because this is what I, I'm going with this one. And then my little kids here <laughs> that would have been right in the first place, I'm going to cut them in half at two inches. And I'm more than likely going to do this. I don't know. I have to, I have to wait and see what I like. Okay. Now we're cutting... <clears throat> two and a half for our belly band I 
I don't know. Don't know what I'm I'm going to like, but like I said, that's the whole thing that you have options with your front and back. Okay, now number four, we're going to come down here and cut. Well, we're going to behead somebody. So I guess we can do this, and that way we'll just get their feet. So we're going to cut it at one and an eight. Sorry, y'all. She's peeking over the fence. Like, um, remember the guy on Wilson, Wilson on Tool Time? <laughs> so she's poking over there. So and then we're going to cut this at one and a quarter. And five and a quarter. Let's just go ahead and cut it right. Oops. Took that. That's our scrap. And then here's this. Now we're going to fold and we're going to score this at, um, I'm going to have to write it on the front. I think it was three and a quarter. Yeah. Score at three and a quarter. Let me write that on here. Okay. All right. So let's score it at three and a quarter. Oops, let me, get, let me get straight on here. Oh, I just set it on my papers. Not going to work. All right, and then let's see. I'm going to do it like that. And their little feet's dangling. We got some dangles, man. We got some dangles. Okay, and then just depending what we're going to do, we'll see. But this is our base for this one. So we'll put this, you see, you know, if you do this, then you're going to have that for your belly band, or if you do it this way, upside down, you'll have that for your belly band. So, you know, I can't think too far into the design because we're just cutting bases. Got to remind myself, we're cutting, you're cutting, you're cutting, you're cutting. Okay, so. This is the one I have here from Janie B. Journals. And we're cutting <clears throat> four inches. Y'all can guess which one this one's going in. My little gold reindeer one. All right. And then we're going to cut it five and a fourth. So we'll have that. And then this is going to be... I know. I'm not supposed to be thinking, but I am right now. <laughs> so we're going to cut it too. <laughs> you can't break the habit. It's so hard. It's so hard. And then two and a half. Mm, we'll do it like that. And then we come down here and cut one and an eighth this way. Down the bottom. Okay. And then here we'll flip it that way. Just so you can see the difference. And then this is one and a fourth by five and a quarter. So one and a fourth. Let me see. Five and a quarter. I'm gonna behead my my reindeer. Okay, we'll do it this way. Even though I'm gonna show this side just for visualization. Okay, and then it leaves us with this, and we're gonna score it at three and a fourth. And if you don't want to do it, you know, make a a fold over taggy thing then you can just make it um, a big a regular tag whoa oh, that's why I can't stay in line I don't like those things for some reason I can't use them I jump out of this these grooves every time with them all right so and then that's that one all right so let's 
move our little friends and cut the other ones. I know we're going to do some serious mass making. As you tell, we're going to do a minimum of six journals. <laughs> but with all these extra parts and pieces we have, we might end up with more. So, which is fine and dandy with me. What am I doing? I'm cutting it at four. Running my mouth. Oh, did I even tell y'all hi? <laughs> hey guys, hope you're having a great day. I just got in here and, and went to work. Oh, didn't even tell y'all hi. Hope you're having a great day. That I love you. Thank you for watching and sharing your day and time with me. And I hope this is something interesting that'll help spark a few juices going if you're wanting to, you know, try to, I want to say fast paced mainstream your journal making because I'm trying to learn how to mass make but keep them cute but simple and easy and all that good stuff so because you know when I got into this I just jumped in with with both feet my hands and I didn't even plug my nose so you know and not everybody does the same way and I'm trying to do, I don't want to say beginners, but I guess this is kind of, this is a beginner for me because I'm trying to teach myself how to do simpler journals so you can, um, you know, not spend a month or two to make one, Candace. So, all right, and then we're going to do it at five and a fourth but then and they're still going to be just as cute as can be so you know you don't have to over analyze everything Candace everything works out and it's pretty all right so three and a quarter so I'm trying to teach myself and I hate to call them quick, easy, cute, simples, but that's what they are. And that's our little foldy over here, which I didn't foldy over him straight. So let me get my, my foldy over corrector and squish him down. All right. So, and then like, you know, just, we have like that. Oh, I'm covering my poor little gingerbread. He's the cutest part. Well, who knows? Like I said, when we get to um, putting them together, we will revisit it and think about it then. Oh, okay. So, this one I have that and these little sweet kids on the back. So, we're cutting it at four. Did I even turn my time? Yes, I did. Y'all. Okay, four. And then we're doing it at five and a quarter. That's our five and a quarter. Cutting them at twos. Look how sweet. Okay. And then two and a half. Okay, then we're coming down here and we're going to cut one and eighth off the bottom. And then we're going to cut one and a fourth here. And at five and a quarter. And that's our little scrappy piece. Okay, and then this is our leftover, and we're going to score it at three and a fourth. Oops, sorry, y'all. Oh, wrong way. Dog on it. Oh, I'm an upside downer thing. 
crap, I didn't do my paper right. So see, I have a problem. I didn't do my directional paper because you know if we're gonna if you're gonna flip it, then you need to print your front this way and then the back upside down. So I'll be reprinting this, but See, if I'd have paid attention, no, it still would have been, but at least my kids would have been right side up. But I already made the crease, so upside down they'll be for now, and I will reprint that, and we will just have to chop this up and use them for tags and stuff. So that's the directional issue. If you're gonna, if you're picking out a pat, a, a um, pattern, if I wouldn't have flipped, you know, bent this over, I'd have been fine. But if you're gonna bend anything. Make sure when you print it, the, the front is this way, and then when you put it in your machine, print it upside down, so that way when you bend it, you have the right direction. But, okay. Doggone it. Well, no problem. We might not even need that one. You know it's probably going to be the one I want. Because <laughs> I mess it up. And I'm going to have the same pro problem on here, too, because I have... This and that. Now, you know, I swear I printed them the right way. Oh, that's on another thing. Well, snod grass. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me think because I got to look and see if one of my other little scribble scrabbles, if anybody, if I can use that, which I will use that on here. So, what, I need something that goes with blues. Let me see about this one. Because this is an either or. So, we're going to use that one. And I will use that on that one. Okay. So. Alright. Small little issue diverted. Wish I would have thought about that on my other little ones. Because I like those. Okay. So, we're going to cut it a four. Flip it around, cut it five and a quarter. Now I gotta count and make sure I have six. <laughs> so we have that. And cut these in half at two. Yeah. Okay. And then two and a half. I know. I was out there thinking again. Not supposed to be. Then we're coming down here and do one and an eighth on the bottom. So that's here. <coughs> and then one and a quarter. I'm going to cut this next. And then chop it off at five and a quarter. And that's our scrap. And then this would be our little belly band in there. So I'm just going to flip these so you can see those. And then this one, we're going to score it. Oh, gosh. See, I moved it over there to the right. And every time I do it, I lose it. Because, you know, when something's on your left-hand side for six years, oh, three and a quarter, Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. You definitely made a, ha a habit of it. Now see if I could just exercise and eat right for <laughs> six years. We'd all be good. Alright, and there's that one. Okay, so I think, let me just double check and make sure I have all the right ones. And I will leave this here for a second. In case I want to screenshot that one. So we have one, two. Okay, so we have one, two. Oops, lost that one. One, two, three. Four, buckle my shoe. Okay, three. Uh-oh, I got seven. Oops. Well... Candace can't count. 
that's okay. Like I said, we're going to have some leftovers, and they're all kind of can go together, so we will be okay. All right. Well, there you go. There's my, my hodgepodge <laughs> of stuff that we did. And let me just um, break it down and put the one that I kind of semi-decorated on here for the final shot. Oh, my bucket is full, but I still have two more things to cut up. And like I said, we're going to have way more than you need, but hey, you know, variety. <coughs> it's the spice of life. <laughs> and that one, and he goes here, and then I need to glue my little belly band on there. So, there you go. That's our little um, one, two, three, four things that you get out of this piece of paper. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I, I hope, oops, I hope I can get in screen so you can see. There we go. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. I hope you give this a try. And um, like I said, I can't wait to see, to put these into a journal to see, you know, hear them, how fast it goes. But I, I think, I think I might be on something. Um, so, um, Thanks for subscribing. Like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. I really appreciate it. I really do enjoy it. And um, thanks for all your lovely comments and, and just everything. Thanks for your love, your support. And here's some kisses and hearts from me. And I will see y'all on the next video. Have a great day and a blessed day. Bye, guys.